There is so much to see in Chicago. Great museums like the Art Institute, uh, the Shedd Aquarium, Wrigley Field, the Lincoln Park Zoo, which is open every day of the year, and the Hancock Observatory. Got to check them all out. And a great place to check out is the new modern wing at the Art Institute. It's the largest expansion in the museum's history with over 264,000 new square feet of modern and contemporary art, photography, architecture and design. Debuting is the first arts and crafts exhibition at the museum in more than 30 years, with work from such legends as Gustav Stickley and Frank Lloyd Wright. Also at the Art Institute, don't miss the Daniel Burnham Plan of Chicago Centennial Exhibit featuring rarely displayed city plan illustrations, maps, and diagrams. It's a great way to go behind the scenes of the Windy City's innovative landscape. Another new attraction not to be missed? The Shedd Aquarium's recently renovated Oceanarium. See beluga whales and Pacific white-sided dolphins in this giant indoor marine mammal pavilion. It's not hard to see why it's one of the most popular attractions in the city. And music lovers take note, the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, with more Grammy Awards than any other orchestra in the world, is in full swing this fall. Be sure to see John Williams conduct movie music on November 29th. And if you're having an aha moment, head over to the Oprah store. This is the place to grab some of Oprah's latest favorite things. Or head over to Ikram. Here you'll find the hottest fashion designs and latest trends around. It's owned by the very woman Michelle Obama herself counts on for style advice. Head to Wicker Park for some of the city's edgiest, one-of-a-kind boutiques like Mulberry and Me, a new fashion depot that features some of the most elusive must-haves. Nearby, Bucktown is also a great place to stroll for chic clothing and accessories. It's an up-and-coming fashion hotspot Vanity Fair recently called a square mile of sassy boutiques. I thought about how I was going to fly all through the Army boot camp. I just like to dream about it. And in Chicago, your options are endless for outstanding theater. Don't miss Broadway in Chicago's world premiere of The Addams Family, starring Nathan Lane. Performances run November through January. And at the Steppenwolf Theater, the latest season kicked off with five thought-provoking new plays, including a mounting of American Buffalo. And Second City is second to none when it comes to sketch comedy. Their alumni list is a veritable who's who with such comic icons as Jim Belushi, Mike Myers, Tina Fey, Amy Sedaris, and Stephen Colbert, all getting their start here. There's always something new, so be sure to check out their latest happenings at the main stage. And after you've devoured all the sights and sounds of the city, you're going to be hungry. Check out some of the finest new Asian cuisine at Sunda, helmed by executive chef Rodilio Aglabat, affectionately known as the Food Buddha. Or make a reservation at Perennial, named one of the 50 best restaurants in the country by Travel and Leisure magazine. And in the River North neighborhood, raise a glass of wine at Bin 36, where the over 50 special selections are offered by the glass. Also enjoy their contemporary American dinner menu or munch on appetizer cheese plates in the relaxing and elegant setting. This city's got it all, so take advantage of everything Chicago has to offer while in town.